big news. Big news. Are you ready for this? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been quite a while. It's been two months since I have picked this up properly to film and I am so sorry about that. Yes, mate. Yeah, you want to say hi? Hi. This is Michaela. She is with me. If you are new here, welcome. I am a mum to five and I live in Canberra, Australia. And I was vlogging quite regularly uh, last year and then we hit uh, December and I really intended to vlog as much as I could. I was going to do vlogmas if I could and our life got so busy and I just had to, you know, not be able to do it for a while. So I'm really sorry about that, but I wanted to hop on here and give you a bit of an update as to what's happening, what's going on. There is a lot of traffic going by. I'm sorry about that, but it's beautiful out here. Let me show you the sky. Like the clouds are just magnificent. One second. Okay, so if you look up here, look at this. Like it looks like it's about to just bucket down in a minute, but it's that really hot, humid weather. But Michaela and I are just enjoying a little bit of sunshine because it's been cloudy up until just a few minutes ago, but the sun has come out. So for those of you who know me, um, okay, you're going inside. Okay. Uh, we were still are at heart but we're a homeschooling family for my children's entire lives um, up until last year uh, and there's a whole story and a backstory behind that if you're interested that's on the channel um, and my two oldest boys went to school last year why is it when I start filming that the okay we're just gonna go with it that they started school last year and this year my two younger children not including Michaela, have also gone to school. And even Michaela has started at the preschool there. So she goes there a few days a week and she's home a couple of the days with me. Okay, I put her inside. She wants to finish watching Frozen. I am sorry about the background noise, but we're gonna go with it because if I always wait for the perfect time to uh, film, it will never ever happen. So let's just do it. So yes, the kids are all at school now, which is a huge, huge change and shock to the system. Um, I did cry the first day that they were all gone. Um, I know, like, and I totally get it. I'm not judging anyone. I know that there's like the memes of like when kids go back to school and the mum and dads are celebrating and everything. But honestly, like because the first four went on a Tuesday and then Michaela went on a Wednesday with them. And I already felt like brokenhearted on the Tuesday. But when Michaela went on the Wednesday and I walked out of that school with no kids, I felt just so lost and empty and I was a mess. I was not, <laughs> I did not do that well that day. I was really emotional, but um, we're trying to, we're trying to get used to it and the kids are doing great. Unfortunately, in their first week, which was last week, they all caught something. I don't know if it came from the preschool and Michaela spread it to everybody or it came, I don't know, it could have come from any of the classes, but all five of my kids got sick. Dave got sick. I was borderline, but praise God, he gave me the grace to not get sick. And so they had to actually miss some school already because they were very unwell. They had temperatures and sore throats and everything. And so they got hit with that pretty quick and pretty hard, but they're through it now, not contagious or anything like that anymore. But you know, the after cold slash flu, whatever it was, effect is not always pleasant. So they're still working through that, but it's nice warm weather here. And so I'm sure that they will clear up very quickly. But yeah, that's been a big shock to the system. One of my kids is actually going on a school camp next week, which is huge for us. <laughs> school is new for us, let alone a school camp. I'm like, my goodness, how quickly can these people stretch me? But <laughs> it's happening. So that's exciting. Everybody's doing well. Um, I'm doing well. I definitely, as I said, I had to take it easy because I know my levels as somebody who has struggled with different things in the past. I know when my life gets very full on and very busy, I have to be able to take a step back from some things. And so as much as I love YouTube, I just had to, I couldn't keep up with it all. Uh, my husband is a minister and I, you know, assist him and a minister alongside him and so it december for us was really busy a lot of people go away um in december in january but for our family it's actually probably one of the hardest working times i don't mean hard in a bad way but i mean like hard work we work really hard with there's um there's a lot happening in the life of the church and you know uh 
outreach in the community over Christmas. And then in January, a lot of people are gone. And so we're left with what's sort of like a skeleton team, if that makes sense, which we're so grateful for any volunteers in our church. But it does mean that there's just a little bit more heavy lifting from Dave and I on our end. And so our kids have been phenomenal. Um, they've been so understanding. We really, really did not do much in the summer holidays, which I feel bad about. But we do have a holiday coming up um, and we are going to just steal them away from school because we don't like to go on holidays in school holidays. So in about four weeks from now, we will be going on a family holiday, which I will announce to you soon because it's pretty exciting, actually. Actually, I'm really excited about it, but I have to focus on one thing at a time. So big news big news. Are you ready for this? I have big news and I'm so excited. If you remember back a couple months ago, um, Dave and I have been house hunting for our first home. We've had some ups and downs. We've had some setbacks. We've had some disappointments, uh, but there was one particular house we loved so much. And I mean, we would have first put an offer on this house maybe three months ago or over three months ago. And at the time it seemed impossible. Like we could not even come close to offering what the owner wanted. Um, and so we actually did put uh, a couple offers down, but they were not they were not accepted, which was understandable at the time. And so we sort of just hung in the background and continued to look for other properties. And, you know, I was trying to be mature, but every time I was looking at a house, and you have to understand before this point, before the three months, we had been looking for almost a year. Like we've really educated ourselves in what sort of a property that we can afford and with what our budget will allow us, what is the best possible option that we can get. And so, um, yeah, we kept looking and there were some nice ones, but none of them were that one, if you know what I mean. Anyway, we just kept praying. We kept praying and I will, if this all goes through successfully, I'll sit down and tell you the full story about this because it's just, it's miraculous actually. But we kept praying if it's God, if it's your will for us to have this house, we pray you'll mark it for us and you'll keep it for us. We just kept praying that the whole time. And long story short, and as I said, if this all goes through, I will sit down and do a proper video on this. Um, just last week, we put a new offer in, uh, not a little bit higher, not that much higher than our original offer, but a little bit higher and it was accepted. It was accepted. And Again, I, I don't want to jump into the story, but there were other offers higher than that offer. And it's just like, it's incredible. It's miraculous. It is miraculous. It is just the hand of God. And so we are actually, if everything works, if everything goes well, we are applying for early occupancy because the house is sitting vacant. And so very likely when we exchange contracts, the very next day, we could have the key to the house. Uh, we are looking to exchange contracts at the end of next week, which means I have less than two weeks, if this all goes through, to not only pack the house, but to completely declutter the house, to get rid of everything. Um, and I'm working night shifts in between that. And Dave has his job as a minister and a job as a school teacher, and our kids are all going to school. And we have a lot of things on, including a trip up to Sydney and um, training, like compulsory church training and that sort of thing. Like there's so much going on and it looks like we have this small pocket of time that we need to pack up and move, which I'm so like excited about. And also the, the wave of overwhelm just keeps hitting me. Now, here's the thing, and this is where I feel really nervous. And maybe any of you who have been through this process, if you've experienced something like this, let me know, because I would love to hear from you. Um, so the owners have accepted our offer. Now we offered we wanted to put a holding deposit on the property and they said no to a holding deposit because they uh, maybe they've just had a bad experience in the past i'm not sure but they said no to a holding deposit and that they accepted our offer and they've sent you know contracts have been sent to brokers and solicitors and all that but until the full 10 percent deposit is received they're not going to take it off the market and so there's still open homes happening on this house like on my house <laughs> There's open homes happening and it just, I just know, again, this is a test of my faith because it just, it feels so vulnerable and I'm praying like, Lord, please, God, we're so close. Like, please don't let anyone just like sneak in there with a higher offer or anything like that. But I just have to trust God. I have to trust him that even if, as, as much as I hate to think about, it, even if for whatever reason this was let go and we it didn't go ahead, we have to just trust God's will. I'm so 
I wish I could tell them to be quiet. <laughs> uh, we have to trust God's will in all of this. But God willing, the, there's an inspection on Thursday and another one on Saturday. And God willing, <laughs> let's pray nobody, nobody shows up. Or if they do show up, they're not interested. That that all happens. We are looking to actually um, sign our contract and pay our deposit by Wednesday or Thursday next week. So today is Tuesday. There's an inspection on Thursday. There's another inspection on Saturday. And we're looking to sign and pay the deposit on Tuesday. So we're so close. We are so close. And so if we do, if this goes ahead, which we're so close, if it all goes ahead, I am going to sit down and I'm going to tell you the full story because it's, it's amazing. God is so good. Um, and I'll also be sure to give you an empty house tour. I will, I will be vlogging again. I can't commit to like a number of videos a week because I just don't know. Like this is going to be so busy these next couple of weeks. But I would love to capture this as well because just last night, Dave and I sat down and we just put on a couple of the really old vlogs from like four years ago. And we're so grateful we have it recorded because it's like so historical for our own family. Just it's precious even to us. And I love to be able to share it with you, but it ends up being a real gift to our own family. And so I want to be able to document this. And in general, I want to get back to vlogging because I love doing YouTube. It's a real hobby of mine. I love connecting with you all, this beautiful community of friends. And I love you all very much. And I'm grateful for you. And yeah, so I'm wanting to get back into grocery hauls. I'm wanting to get back into vlogging. Uh, please bear with me. I will do my absolute best, but I certainly want to document as much as I can. I am not going to show you my house right now. Oh my goodness. Yesterday I started, you know what? I was brave. I was being brave. There's so much that needs decluttering and there's so much that needs cleaning. And I thought I'm going to start in the very worst part of the house. And that is the kitchen. And I took everything out of the fridge. I cleaned the fridge inside and out. I put it all back in. I took everything out of the cupboard. I cleaned the cupboard inside. I put everything back. I cleaned another cupboard. I did, like I start, I just started working on the kitchen. And because of that, you know, all the rubbish and mess and grime, like it's literally all over the floor. It looks like a construction zone in my house. And this is just the kitchen. And so I have to say, now yesterday the kids were home because I kept them home for one more day. But I am, as much as I miss my kids and I love my kids, I am grateful that at least for today and tomorrow, tomorrow May will be at preschool, I will have the house to myself. And I'm just trying to, as much as possible, clean. Because I feel like, and declutter, declutter. And the worst case scenario, I believe this is all going to go through and we're going to get this house. But the worst case scenario, even if it fell through, like we are so desperately in need of a good clean and a declutter. So it's a win-win either way. But um, right now, we're just going to be storing all our... Um, well, I mean, we're going to be giving, we're giving a lot of stuff away, stuff that we don't need anymore, like a lot of books, actually a lot of homeschool material, um, clothing, there's toys, there's things that are in good condition, but we just don't use anymore. So if we can give it away, we will give it away. Um, but we also have a pile of things that just cannot, they're not going to be reused. Um, and so that will be going to the bin. Just a side note, when we moved from Penrith to uh Canberra we did a bit of a declutter but not a full declutter so we still have things from uh, Penrith life that I need to go through and clean out so there's a lot um, but next week if we know for 100% this is going through then we will get a skip we we'll get a skip bin and all these piles of rubbish that I'm piling up which are going to be moved into the garage in just a minute uh, will be put into the skip and we'll be able to go from there but I mean guys we could be moving in like 10 days from now like <laughs> that's huge <laughs> i have to laugh because there's so much to do that's so much that that encompasses and so ah uh, um i am cleaning but i do plan even if i have to go work some extra shifts to hire a cleaning company to come and clean this house because the owners of this house are beautiful people they go to our church Dave and I can clean it and we will clean it, but we want to give it back to them as beautifully as possible so they can pretty much get it back on the market straight away to rent. Um, but yeah, look, that's where it's at. I'm sorry for the background noise. There's my battery. I really just wanted to, I actually sat down about two days ago to try to do this and it didn't work. So that's why I'm going, I'm just going to go with it. I'm going with the noise, but I'm so happy to be able to update you with where we are at. And God willing, I will be back more often and be able to vlog again. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I will see you soon with another video and an update. God bless you. Bye.